Randall from South Bend, Indiana writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, I keep reading about this thing called the air lens. <laughs> what the heck is an air lens? I can't find anything about it. Well, I don't know when you're watching this video. By now, I would think it's up on the website, but I have been wrong before. It was just a couple weeks ago I started talking about the air lens, <laughs> and it wasn't. And, and, you know, I do, I come in on a Saturday, I do these videos, and then I parse them out each day. And so I don't know when they're showing up, but I, we talked about the air lens before, but I didn't have one in my hands. And so here you are. This is an air lens. And you can see the back of it. There you go. Sucker is heavy. It's got to be, I don't know, 10 pounds, 20, I don't know. And Basically, the air lens is a streaming device. So if we were to think about the basic structure of how we stream music, we have to have a few elements, okay? You've got to have a controller, some means of communicating your wishes for what you want to hear. Then you have to have a server that communicates with that controller. And then lastly, you have to have some way to render it to a DAC. Okay, so those are the three elements that you need. And you can use a computer, a single Mac, Apple, you know, Windows, whatever, can do all three. So you've got a video screen that's your, uh, and a program that you go through your library, like iTunes. iTunes is a controller, okay? And it tells the server program inside of the computer that you have selected the following file, and then that server sends that a link to that file, and then the streamer, again, all built into a computer, generally, then starts, uh, connects up to that file, and the file streams to whatever output port, which on a computer is usually USB. So you've got those three things built into a computer. Now let's say that you are using a program like Rune. Rune's a great program, love Rune, and Rune is a server, basically, and it has a controller function built into it. And that controller function is the user interface that makes sense. So when you look at Rune on your computer or on your iPad, that particular part, let's just, let's just say we have a computer that has Rune on it and then an iPad that is going to be how we talk to that server. And then somehow you need to get what's in the computer as controlled by Rune to your DAC, right? So the typical setup, you'd have an iPad, you'd have a computer, playing Rune, and then through USB, you'd connect up to your DAC. Does that all make sense? That's sort of how that all works. And Rune, in this case, is the server. And it connects up, and it's also because of the computer, the streamer. USB is probably the worst way, from a sonic standpoint, of getting the data out of a computer. It's noisy, it's two-way communication. It's not the best way to go about it. A better way to go about it is to have all of that, your iPad, your Rune, and then connect over Ethernet or Wi-Fi to a separate streamer like the AirLens, okay? So this is the third part of the controller server combination that you want. This hooks directly up to your DAC, either through the coax here or through our preferred method, which is I squared S through this HDMI connector. And uh, of course, we developed that entire interface and set the standards and the protocol for it. And now a number of companies use it, and it's definitely the best. And what makes this unique is not that it communicates over Ethernet or Wi-Fi, and brings it all in, because inside of here is a little computer as well, all right? What makes this unique and really cool is the fact that 
it uses what I like to call an air gap interface, meaning that the output stage, the final digital output stage, is galvanically isolated from the noisy things going on inside of the, of the, air, uh, of the airlines, right? And so by doing that, by, by making this galvanic isolation where there is no ground, there's no common power supply, no wires touching, I mean, it literally travels through the air, uh, little devices that connect it up through something close to RF that keep it completely isolated. This is as quiet as it could possibly be from a noise standpoint. It does all the separate reclocking. It has the what we call a digital lens inside of that. It, it takes all that data, it buffers it, and then it puts it out on an extremely low jitter, low noise clock at the output and it's jitter free, jitter free. Okay, I, I'll, I'll get slammed for that. So <laughs> low jitter output, and it sounds amazing. And you've never heard Rune sound the way it can until you hear it through an air lens. So that's that be the skinny and the lowdown on that. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.